<laughs> so in that, thanks for our catering US-UN's event. And <laughs> Jeremy's upbraiding me for not clearing these remarks. You have a metaphor for our relationship. <laughs> 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 uh, okay, so in truth, about a month ago, uh, I had the pleasure of speaking to a group of Stanford students who I learned have effectively been Jeremy's roommates during his time here in Washington, because I don't know if you know this, but in addition to being U.S. UN's deputy and uh, having this bi-coastal uh, uh, commute that he's had, he's also been an advisor to the Stanford uh, program in Washington, D.C., which he had, which means he effectively has 20 teenage children. I don't know how many <laughs> um, Anyway, in teeing up a presentation I made to this group, uh, Jeremy referred to me as his work spouse, <laughs> by which he meant somebody with whom he interacts frequently, figures occasionally, and has a strong and enduring bond. Um, now, beyond sharing this with my actual wife, who I might add was not entirely cool with it, <laughs> I've been reflecting on ways in which our relationship has indeed tracked the non-romantic aspects of married life during me. First of all, uh, let me go through this. Um, multiple daily communications, check. Uh, ritual gestures of support on matters of common interest. <laughs> Great job at today's DC. I wasn't sure I was getting through. Oh no, you were. Right. <laughs> uh, and of course, gentle prodding with the recognition that you all are never really going to get the other person to change. As in, before we clear these remarks to the council with 20 directors, could you confirm that they're not going to change on Samantha's review? So we have no reason to believe that there will be significant changes. Chat, yes. I mean, like. Oh no, okay. Um, of course, this doesn't really encompass the full range of it's conversations that we've had during, uh, from kibitzing and whining to hatching plans for waging peace and rights and atrocities and prevention around, uh, all around the world to why lie furious epithet laced rants about the injustice of requests for their evening page speeches and two hours on Saturday evenings as had come sometimes. But the bottom line is that we have certainly had an incredible, productive, broad gauge partnership and friendship that I personally and the whole world did. Just to highlight a few things that we're going to miss. First of all, when you are gone, who are we going to try to sound like? Um, for honestly, is there anyone who sits at the table in any of these interagency meetings with you who is as articulate as you are? Uh, who effortlessly toggles between uh, that fantastic or conceptual vocabulary that you have, have and the deep knowledge of how the government works to push the conversation forward, to shape solution, and to make sure that we're not skirting the most important issue? And is there anyone who's ever sat at DC with Jeremy and has a thought? That was a really great intervention. I'd really like to sound like that. And if there is somebody there, don't say anything to me. Um, second of all, uh, who is going to take on these incredible, messy, complex, worthy, and important projects that you've helped uh, us get our hands around uh, in financial multilateral, uh, like developing a mechanism for sustainably financing green tunneling AU operations, uh, a plan for selling its partners in Congress, and actually helping us to make this happen, or a program of work that's going to help the atrocities or all the other issues that we frequently turn to you and say, uh, you know, this is just too hard. Can you help us figure it out? And then amazingly, you, you come up with something. So we're going to that. Um, and then finally, who's going to be there to nudge us, sometimes many times a day, <laughs> to do more, better, faster in the service of the agenda that we all share? Have you had the opportunity to do X, Y, or Z? Always cheerfully, with recognition of the multiple pressures we face, and unfazed uh, and undaunted by our one-line responses like, Leave me alone. <laughs> uh, we assume that there will be people who will fill your shoes in this respect, but we appreciate the way in which you've done it. So I think that's really basically the bottom line for you, Jeremy. I, I trust that we will continue to see each other, that uh, I will be crashing on your couch and take my kids out uh, for college uh, visits in the Bay Area. Uh, but I hope that uh, that's not the limit of it, that we really get the benefit of your insights and your energy and your friendship on an ongoing basis. I'm really going to miss you. In the last one, uh, we sang. <laughs> the best part, though, was that his son uh, Jonah. Somebody cut some holes into a bird bag and walked around 
in a burn bag the entire time. <laughs> <laughs> um, he's not driving. <laughs> uh, so I decided, I, I thought I could be funny, but I'm going to be serious. 